We've all seen AI coding tools. None of them do what I'm about to show you. Today, we're throwing GitHub Copilot at every developer's worst nightmare. Port conflicts, deployment errors, cloud failures. We will see it build, debug, deploy, and scale application automatically. By the end, you will know my three reasons why you should never code without GitHub Copilot again. You ready? Let's go. We will start with a blank canvas and a simple prompt. Create a full blown Flappy Bird game, web based, and we want this in Python. Now, right away, Copilot isn't just writing code, it's planning. It chooses Flask and Socket.io stack for this real time web app. Following best practices, it sets up the Python virtual environment and installs the dependencies. Now, this is Copilot in agent mode. It's not just suggesting code, but it's actually doing things. Now, as a developer, the key here is learning to communicate your vision clearly to an AI agent. So your prompt engineering skills will play an extremely important role here. Now, think of it as really briefing a senior developer to do a task. Now, watch this. In under a minute, Copilot scaffolds the entire project. We get a complete Flask backend in app.py with all the game logic, physics, and collision detection. We get templates folder with feature-rich index.html containing the game's canvas, all the necessary JavaScript for rendering and client-side logic, and even the CSS for polished UI. It also generates a config.py to easily tweak the game settings, a readme, and VS Code asks me to run the server. Now for the test to run, right? We hit a classic developer snag. The port is already in use. And this is where Copilot's agent tech power truly stands out. It's not just a code generator, it's a problem solver. It actively reading the terminal outputs, understanding the addre understanding and addressing the errors, and immediately proposes fixes, changing the port in app.py. And then we didn't really have to debug this at all. It just figured it out itself. Copilot saw the problem, it went into the environment and solved it. With that one fix, our game is running. It's fully playable right inside VS Code. We went from an idea to a working prototype in literally 90 seconds. Let that sink in. Now, let's make a change. Change the bird's color to red. This is more than a simple search and replace type of thing. Now, Copilot understands the project's architecture. It knows the bird's color is defined as a hex code in our Python config.py file for the backend, but it's rendered using a JavaScript function in index.html. It correctly identifies and modifies both files, applying the new red color scheme to the bird's gradient and the trait. And the change is reflected instantly. Okay, so now let's take a huge leap create a container and a bicep file to deploy this application into Kubernetes container-based application on cloud. And I'm going to use Azure Kubernetes service for this. And this is where we're really moving far beyond the typical AI coding assistant capabilities, coding agent capabilities. We are now in the land of DevOps engineer and GitHub Copilot is acting as a DevOps engineer for us. It generates this production-ready multi-stage Docker file, a comprehensive bicep file with all our deployment instructions and all the necessary Kubernetes manifests for deployment services and namespaces. But cloud deployments are rarely that simple. There's always complexities. So here we are able to see that Copilot actually runs into deployment errors, unsupported Kubernetes version, an invalid ACR SKU. It also runs into the VM coda limits in the Azure region. And, and here's the magic, right? Copilot reads the CLI outputs, the di it diagnoses each of the errors and systematically modifies the, the bicep templates to then redeploy, iterate, debug, 
and, and continuously do that to redeploy and continue to navigate those complexities in the cloud infrastructure on our behalf. And that is huge because it's, it isn't about the code anymore. It's about the deployment and how we run it. And it's able to go in and deploy it for us in AKS. And I'm able to play with the deployed version in, on, on the cloud in AKS. Now, I would like to actually understand if this is, this is really all the services that it has created in Azure. So I'm going to go head over into our Azure portal, look for that IP address. And there we have it. We are able to see that IP address associated with AKS. And if I click further on that, I'm able to see the resource group and all the different components of the AKS Kubernetes cluster that it generated in Azure platform for me. So from a simple prompt, right? From a simple prompt to a containerized app running in Kubernetes in the cloud. That is what we did in literally five-ish minutes here. And that is huge. Which brings me to my three reasons why you should not code without GitHub Copilot. It allows you to not just code, but also plan, debug, and deploy your code in production, making it a true AI agent that covers the entire spectrum of development life cycle. If you enjoyed this video, you will like this video on Vibe Coding, where I built a website from scratch using GitHub Copilot and VS Code. Check it out and I'll see you next time. Thank you.